Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm very happy to be doing my personal review of Britney Spears' Maui Fantasy. Now this is Britney's 20th fragrance, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14th uh, Fantasy, including Renner Edition, aka Eau de Toilette, um, and the Naughty the Nice remixes. So this perfume actually launches this year, G supposed to be late January, early February. Um, I got mine early, as I kind of normally always do. And um, we'll be coming out late this, like late January, early February. And is a tropical spinoff to the original fantasy. And I'm going to say that with the fact that it is nothing like the original fantasy at all. Um, this one is actually very different from all the other fantasies. So, if you didn't like any of the other fantasies, I would give this one a try. Just because it is very different. So, the box this time looks like this. And you guys can see it back here as well. So, the front says, Aloha from Hawaii, XFXO Brittany, Maui Fantasy. Um, in gold, and then you've got kind of this uh, hibiscus flower on the corner. And you've actually, like, these little uh, leaves are actually cut out. So, like, when you open up the box, it shows you got some more hibiscus flowers there. But the cutout is actually on, like, the cardboard sleeve that's on the inside. So, if you remove the cardboard sleeve, like this, the leaves, like, are actually cut out of the box. Um, so they're on this side, and then they're also on this side, and then, like, it carries over the side, but the back side just has a picture of it, the bottle, and says, Now My Fantasy, with, like, almost like a postcard-esque thing, and then the bottom just says, Aloha from Hawaii, XOXO, Britney, um, Britney Spears, a trademark, but, you know, all the normal stuff that's on the bottom of her perfume boxes. So... The one thing I did notice that was different from this box that I have and the picture is it just says Eau de Toilette 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliter uh, spray vaporizers, and on that it says limited edition, so I'm not 100% sure if it's limited edition or not. I do know it is being marketed as a limited edition. So the kind of long-winded, um, oh, bottle, duh, anyway, bottle. Looks like this. So you've got a clear, like the clear cap this time versus it being colored. I don't think we've ever had a clear cap on a fantasy before. White neck on the bottle, which my camera does not want to focus on. So white neck on the bottle, no gems, no rhinestones. And then you've got um, this kind of leaf and Hawaiian flower in the middle of the bottle. The rest of the bottle is just this frosted blue color. It does not appear that the liquid is any color. This is the first fantasy we have had besides the Naughty Nice remixes and um, Fantasy Twist that does not have gems on the actual bottle. So, oh, and Stage Edition didn't have gems either. So, there's that. The long winded Elizabeth Arden representative review that I got is Birds of Paradise mingle with luscious pink uh, grapefruit passion and passion fruit, drawing you in and their mouth-watering sensations. At the heart of this intoxicating blend of fresh beach tide florals, hibiscus petals, silamen, orange blossom, and Hawaiian manoi um, blooming in the golden sun. From the background, the warm central auroras of vanilla and coconut radiate with soft blue musk, white amber, and beachy blonde woods. Let me dumb that down for you. So in other words, because I don't like those long-winded reviews because they don't sound right in my opinion. Let me give you the real notes of this fragrance. So top notes are Birds of Paradise, Pink Grapefruit, and Passion Fruit. Middle notes are hibis Hibiscus Petals, I cannot talk today. Silamen, Orange Blossom, and Hawaiian Manoi, aka the Tahir Flower. Base notes are Vanilla, Coconut, Blue Musk, White Amber, and Blonde Woods. So... Like I had said earlier, as I dropped the lid, 
this is nothing like any of the other fantasies. This, in my opinion, is very lush tropical florals. This almost could be a spinoff to a Jennifer Aniston fragrance, as it is very beachy and very tropical. Um, but it's not tropical like Island Fantasy with the melon and all that underneath of it. Um, it's just very, like, lush florals. So... On the first spray, I do get that grapefruit. It does have a very citrusy burst in the very beginning. But the Birds of Paradise is probably the most standout note in the very beginning. As the whole entire fragrance is very floral and very aquatic. Um, as you start to dry down into the heart, the hibiscus is definitely there. The tahir flower is definitely there. Um, tahir flower, as you guys know, is a uh, very common note in the... Uh, Mariah Carey perfumes, and that kind of adds that like floralness to M that you get. This doesn't smell like M, but it has that noticeable to hear note that M had. Um, Orange Blossom is in there, Silomon is in there. Um, like I said, the heart is the most standout part of this entire fragrance. Very, very, very floral. If you don't like florals, I wouldn't recommend blind buying this because. It is very, very floral, very uh, different from all the other fantasies that Britney's ever done. And I will give her props for mixing up the fragrance and it being something completely different. Seeing has the last four fragrances she has released. Stage Edition, Rocker Femme, Runner, and Intimate have all been along the same notes and rundown. Well, I guess you could even go into Anniversary Edition. So, the last five fantasies have all been just regular spin-offs to the original fantasy not a whole lot different there so this is completely different something that you can tell actually Brittany worked on and she said it's inspired by her love for um going to hawaii and maui being her favorite island and all that other stuff so this definitely is a destination fragrance because it is very um I've never been to Hawaii, but this is kind of what I imagine Hawaii to smell like. It does have that very, like, ozonic, airy, tropical, like, just tropical floral vibe. Um, as you get down the base, vanilla, coconut, blue musk, white amber, blonde woods. Blue musk, definitely there. Like I said, when I did my first impression, this is very musky. So you do get that musk very strong in the base. The coconut and the vanilla are combined a little bit just to add a soft sweetness to the base of this fragrance. But it is not sweet in any way, shape, or form. Um, I almost feel like this could be a curious spinoff or maybe even a believe spinoff as it doesn't have any ties to the original fantasy. Um... But it's definitely very, very nice. I will reiterate that. It's nice. It's not my favorite fantasy. I will say that straight off the bat. It's not my favorite fantasy and definitely not something I see wearing on a regular basis. But, I, like I said, I do give her very much props for it being a different spinoff to the original fantasy. So, um, I do get a little bit of the amber, but not very much. Um, it's just very kind of... That floral heart is very there. So, just to kind of recap... You don't really get a whole lot of the top. You do get a little bit of the pink grapefruit and the uh, passion fruit. Not really a whole lot there. I think passion fruit's also there because it does have the opening does have a little bit of a similarity to the pink print by Nicki Minaj. Um, heart, very floral heart. You definitely get the orange blossom, the hibiscus, and the tahir flower or the Hawaiian Minoi, whatever way you want to say it. Um, base dries down, you get a lot of that musk, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of vanilla, but not a whole lot. I do wish there was maybe a little bit more coconut in this and then maybe a little bit more vanilla. Um, as I feel like it may have rounded out the fragrance, um, to kind of balance out for more, like, more people. I will say, though, um, I'm happy without it having a whole lot of coconut in it because coconut's not my favorite note done in fragrances. Most times, coconut in a fragrance smells very synthetic unless it's done right. So I'm very glad that the coconut in here is a very creamy vanilla coconut um, and isn't overly um, synthetic. So best time to wear this, I would definitely say spring, summer, definitely probably summer, definitely a beach scent. It is very uh, on point to where Brittany was trying to go with this, with it representing Hawaii and her tropical vacations there. So this isn't like Island Fantasy where it was... Oh, this is what I think an island would smell like. This is very much, I've been to Hawaii, this is what Hawaii smells like. 
um, sort of S. I don't know, I've never been to Hawaii, but that if I imagined going to Hawaii and someone who had been to Hawaii, this is what I think it would smell like. Um, lasting power, it is an order toilet. I only get about three to four hours on it. It does not last super long, but in the summertime, that's not something you want to last super long. It is a great fragrance to reapply, as it does kind of change from the top to the middle to the base, but it isn't a drastic change like some fragrances are. Um, so... That is my personal review of Britney Spears' Maui Fantasy. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. If you guys have any requests for videos, please do comment them below, and I will see if I can get them up. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye!